Welcome back to the playthrough of Pathologic 2. As stated before, I do flag all my videos as ASMR because a lot of people like listening to my voice. If that is not ASMR for you, then feel free to leave at this point. Let's get in there quickly. We might just spend the rest of the day looting, honestly. Okay, we need we need one more organ to have this challenge fulfilled. And fulfilling a challenge means we will get money tomorrow, and money means we're not starving. Take this one. Didn't drop it on the floor. Boggers. Perfect. We want to keep the infected brain. That could be really useful. Progress, we did something good. We did something good. Or a change. Why well, you got an infected brain in your pocket? Listen, we're a doctor and we're trying to, to, to save people. Unfortunately, we don't know how. So we um, we take infected organs and, and mix them with, with herbs and hope that somehow creates a cure. It sounds pretty mental if you like say it like that, but... It is what it is. We didn't visit this house before. Alright, same strategy as before. Wait, can we save in this house? We can't. Where's the next save? Okay, let's do something different. Because we did so much already, we need a save. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. Can you follow me? You can't follow me, that's bad. He lost interest, that's good. Nice. Okay, um, where's the next? We could save in Town Hall. Then go to Saburov's. And then go to one of the black districts to try to loot something. Well, we should definitely save. Because even if we die, we just get basically reloaded in the next spot. Something's wrong with this shop. We still want to save first. I'll save the red houses? No. Now the red houses are just objects of interest. Saves is, is like that clock kind of symbol there. That means there is a clock in here and I can save the game. Nothing of interest. Something's wrong with this shop? Okay. Guess we enter the shop then. Oh, look at that. Big a blood. long time. Hmm. To start this fight. Ah, Burak. You don't have a wife yet, of course, do you? And I doubt I ever will. Neither do I, not anymore. Victoria Olgimskaya died a while ago. Yes. I know you loved her, everyone in town knows. They used to sell knickknacks and mementos here long ago. That's where I met her. She was buying a brooch. We married the same year. It was fall too. I returned here much later. How long was it? Eight years? They began selling meat. My meat, of course. Brooches. Who needs brooches? Indeed, meat is more important. What should I do, Burak? Should I repair the shop or leave it like this, as a memento? <laughs> Repair it, let them sell meat, it's profitable for everyone. 
Dude, yeah. I'd be highly interested in meat. As you might have noticed, I'm constantly on the brink of starving, so meat seems a lot more important. I will assume every door is locked, and this was a completely unnecessary adventure. Yeah. I thought so. Did you see how big the clock is? Can't just put it in my jacket. Alright, we go uh, this way. I like how everyone tries to sell me ammunition, but no one sells me a revolver. Hmm. I don't fully grasp the trade system in this game. Like, you can trade with literally everyone, but no one wants the shit you have. So it seems kind of redundant to even drop. And I don't get this locating herbs by sound. Oh god, this is an... Uh, Infected again? This district was infected before. Yeah. How about we let them do their thing and we just never go back? Like there's there's battles on the street. There's this, this infection ghost flying at me the moment I try to enter. And on top of that, the start of the day said it I'll get answers if I don't ask, so I don't ask. That sounds fair. Yeah, there, there's, sadly there's a couple bugs. Um, in that game. But in this one. Did you find Isidore's killer yet? Why are you asking? You realize the same people who killed him also caused the plague. He stood in their way once and stopped them. This time they succeeded. Caused the plague? Oh, use your head. Isidore was killed, our only doctor. First murder in town for four years. And what happens the very next day? An outbreak. Do you know if a fire starts from, a four, from four corners at once? Smart folks call it arson. Who would do such a thing? Why? Someone wants to eradicate the local population. Maybe even wipe the whole town off the map. They don't even care if it takes them to their own grave. They can't live like this, so life is meaningless. Now, who has reason to hate the existing order of society? Use your head. You're talking about the kin? This is, step, this is a step disease, brought by the step people. That's where we should be looking. This plague, it didn't start out of nowhere. It was engineered, directed by someone. Ask anyone, it's not natural. I need to think about it. I know slightly more about the plague now. I need to keep searching. Even silly rumors may hold a grain of truth. Rumor has that the outbreak didn't happen by chance. Someone made it happen. A person, is that possible? Yeah. That, that sounds like the good old bug. Hey, Flix, welcome. I'm doing great. Trying trying to survive this awkward game at times. That's not awkward. I, I I love this game, honestly. Game is super cool. I just wish it would revolve a little bit less about me starving. <laughs> that I would enjoy greatly. How are you doing, Flix? Okay, I need to make a plan here. Let me pause for a second. So... Going to the Saburovs is kind of out of question. We're dying way too quick. We don't have anything going for us. We need a steady supply of bottles to be able to even make more medicine. We will get money tomorrow.
Well, I guess in the end, timer always wins, right? It looks a bit empty, but I guess that's part of the game. Also, hope your pathologic game is going well. It's it's well, we're still it still revolves around the fact that I'm starving. A bit tired, but I'm fine. Well, so the game is named Pathologic, right? And there's a a big disease going on, and people are dying like flies. And uh, that is that is a big reason why the game looks pretty empty. It's because they're all dead. Which might might sound a little bit drastic, but it's it's literally what's going on. <laughs> Free human flesh. Unfortunately, you need like you need tools to cut it free. And uh, the one tool I still have that didn't break yet, I'm 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 saving for the good things. Also, I can't really eat humans, unfortunately. Anyone in here? Cool. And in our quest to not starve, we're looting houses. But sometimes people are in these houses. And because we are super, super low HP, we need to make a run for it immediately. Yep. Like that. Luckily, they can't open doors. So we got that going for us. And this is... I don't know, man. It keeps my heart rate up. Big lock, big lock. Oh, this is bad. I can loot this though. Straight razor, that's worth something. Money's also good. Sadly, we're also out of lockpicks. Wait, maybe not. Dude, I'm, I'm shit scared. I am shit scared in this game. Because the thing is, when you die, you don't just reload. You get a penalty for the remaining playthrough. Even when you reload. Like, dying actually means something in this game. And and that makes it actually scary. Which is really cool on the, like, on, on the one side. But... <laughs> I just enjoy just li a little bit less starving. That would be really cool. We can also trade with people, but usually people don't want to trade with us. Or rather, we don't have anything that interests them enough so we could trade. Like in Tarkov? I actually never played Tarkov. So we're currently revolving a lot around looting things. I'm um, trying to find valuables that we could sell for some something to eat. Pharmacy. Bad grief's nest. Bad grief is infected. Can we save this guy? I like him. One bottle of medrol and no no diagnostics. We have a bit more water now though. <sighs> Do we get anything from, from saving people or no? That's, that's like the big question, or does it just reduce the amount of problems we have if we let people die? How would you rate this game on a scale from 1 to 10? Just on, based on my experience so far. That's a good question. 
I'm I'm hesitating because it's not an easy answer. Like in terms of, of storyline and immersion, I would say it's it's a solid eight to nine. In terms of gameplay, it's a solid four and a half. Did I just see something over there? But where was my house? This one, right? The game is, is very, very clunky. And part of it is by design. A part of it isn't. But I, w I w like in general, I would say I, I recommend this game because it is it is very unique in the way uh, in the way it works. Like unique to a point that you've never seen anything work like this before. It's just not very accessible. a great atmosphere but the gameplay mechanics are too rep uh, repetitive mm, kind of yes and the like you you get thrown in dialogues a lot um like you have to talk to a lot of people and you have to read all that and 80 percent of it happily ever after. gives you no information and horribly ever before and or information that you already have Add a fight with Sticky, all because of your father again. I'm so worried now. What if we never make up? Again? What do you mean again? Because everything is bad because of your dad. He always made everyone sad. Really? Everyone? If it weren't for him, we would not be We would be living like we used to and nothing would be bad. Is your friend telling you things again? My friend would never lie, you know. She talks about it too. I guess she overrules me and Sticky then. I hope I can make up with Sticky. I don't hate having a brother at all. He grumbles a lot, but he's really nice. He makes food for me. Yesterday he brought me sugar. He put it over a candle and made me a piece of candy. Of course you don't hate having a brother. I think like the, the, the main issue is that a lot of the storytelling revolves around like reading things. And a lot of the things you read are Dadaistic. Or tell you something about a character that you don't care about. Where did we get our... Did we put our brain in the... Oh yeah, we did put the brain in the locker. We still have a lot of kidneys and things. Let's try to mix... This. I don't know what will happen. I assume it's probably just a very strong antibiotic and it, it'll not solve the issue we're having. Wait, upgrade inventory? I've never seen that before. We can make our inventory bigger? What is this? We can repair shit on our own? That's new. Oh, that's really useful, honestly. Okay, so we're trying to find these kind of things now. Guess a number between 1 and 5. Uh, 4? I put the... Ah, uh, now we might need those. How long is this going? 1 minute 45. Save the game. A good choice. Okay. 
So we're in, in, in pretty bad shape. And we're hungry again. Do we have anything? No. So, good morning, Fatula. How are you? Wait, hold up. Let me, let me try to understand things. It's afternoon. We have a couple potions, but not too many. We got some antibiotics. We got some Medrel. Got some Zerg. We could probably help one more person. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're um, doing some pathologic. Because like the last pathologic stream kind of ended up being being a discussion stream. Where is the hospital? I cannot remember like which day it is. Oh yeah, done with my shift for today. So okay, everything I do today is is all right. Okay, we're done with that. Let's let's go to the bar. Try to sell off some of the herbs, hoping they might give us some food. That is the idea. this building. I can't remember where the entrance was. Was it here or was it on the other side? We'll find out though. Yeah. Always the wrong one. Always the wrong side. We need to get this hunger under control. Also we might shortly try to eat rotten food just because I guess I'd rather eat rotten, sh rotten food than starve. I would assume. Another save here. Ah, we're still dying. Passion Swish is more. Oh. Why is Twire never more expensive? Okay, we got chestnuts, we got an apple, we got some cask, and twirin. And the lemon. Well, I guess we try to get the kashk, I guess. Like, sadly, there's not much else we can do. We need to eat whatever we can get to just not starve for a moment. It's not great, but it works for now. And we might have to resort to more looting. We're just permanently out of money. So there's definitely a couple things I would have done way different. If I started the game over. Like I would probably start to, to just rack up absurd amounts of food from day one. So I'm I'm chilling a bit more on that behalf, on that part. Revolver ammo, immunity boost. We can't really loot though. That's that's a bit of an issue. We can't really loot because we can't fight, so it's very risky to do so. And also, like we don't have boots, we don't have anything. We 
we need these metal thingies. Oh, a package. Love to see it. Got some fishing hook and egg. Well, I guess the egg can be used so we don't starve for a bit longer. We can try to get to Zaburov. Maybe around everything. Why is this house black? Oh, because the person in there is dead. Does that mean we can loot it? It might mean we can loot it. It might also mean that there's looters inside. If so, we're making a run. This looks hella spooky again. Or did we already loot it? Why is... Why is yeah, we did already loot it. That's unfortunate. It's also wild that the save doesn't work anymore. If someone died in the house. Oh wait, this is... Whichever finger bleeds, the whole hand aches. So have you seen my parents? How are they doing? Not yet. Then go please, before it's too late. I know. Dude, I, have, I don't see myself trying to help them at all. There's like priorities. And her parents are none of them. Yeah. Holy shit. The number one priority would be not dying. Imagine. He got a chisel though. We could trade. Now we can't. We can't trade anything. I guess we're trying to get into the infected district, but we have to go around a bit. I hope that works. Somehow. Oh! What the fuck? Why is there so much free shit? In this random ass locker? The fuck? Back with breakfast and enjoy. Enjoy that breakfast. Why is there so much free shit in that locker? That's surprising to say the least. The game tends to not give us much free shit. Like that's that's mental. Did you make yourself fancy breakfast? Or just some cereals? Grocery store? It might not be a bad spot to be in. What is that? Mm, okay, she got some foods. Let's see if we can sell some of the stuff we just looted. Bracelet, nice. Love to see it. Gives me some money. Fishing hooks. I know many of these things can be traded, but the people I can trade with usually don't have stuff that I want. Canned food is very expensive, though. Well, I mean, it's, it's basically a zero by zero trade at this point, so maybe... Maybe we just keep it that way. And use one of the grindstones to make this basically for free. Ok, 
Okay, we're not dying for a bit longer. That's pretty pock champion, I'd say. However, we're still pretty, pretty, pretty dead. Uh, this way? We just look into every single container we see. Oh fuck, this district is, is broken too? Um, that's an issue. But maybe we can, we can help one more person to get like better funds or loot this house that's like right at the entrance. Thank you for watching this episode of the Pathologic 2 playthrough. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button or check out a different video. A new video will be out soon. So thanks and have a great evening or day or morning or whatever time it is for you.